So pretty much what you want to do is you want to use your left arrow key and then go 10 keyframes back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Once you've got to the 10th one, you want to go ahead and press M on your keyboard for a mark point. Do the same for the second side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. M on your keyboard. You want to left click and drag your second clip into your first one and make sure it is on 6. So it has a crossfade of six and you also want to right click on your fade and then set it to the first fade, which is the cross one. So we've pretty much got ourselves the crossfade. Now we need to go to the first mark point and then press S and then also go to the second one and then split it up. So now we need to go ahead and click on the event slash crop. And then in here you want to go to your first keyframe and then you want to leave this one on normal and then go all the way to the end left click on your picture. You could zoom out a little bit if you want to use in your scroll wheel and then just scrolling down. You want to hold shift and then drag the corners of the video inwards till it's about this small. You then want to once again, hold shift and then move it to the top right corner of the screen. You want to go to the first keyframe, right click on it and then set this one to smooth. Then you want to do the same for the second clip, but this time when you go into the event slash crop, you want to left click on the screen. On the first one, you want to move it all the way to the end. And then on the first keyframe, you just want to once again, hold shift, make it smaller, hold shift, and then drag it to the bottom left corner. And once again, right click on it, set this one to smooth. So let's apply some effects. Let's make it more interesting. If you go over to the video effects, go over to linear blur, and then in here, there'll be one called 45 degrees. If you don't have this one by any means, then go ahead and get yourself a default one and then just simply drag into your video, set the angle to 45. You want to click on the little stopwatch right here, go all the way to the beginning, and then you want to pretty much go seven keyframes forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you want to move the first one all the way to there, go back to the start, and then set the amount to zero. You also want to right click on the bottom one and then set this one to fast fade. Now that you've done that, close this one down and do the same for the second clip, 45 degrees, click on the stopwatch, go over to the first keyframe, leave this one on normal, so that is 100 for the amount. And then you wanna go six keyframes out, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, and then go ahead and set this one to zero for the amount. You can close everything down, but anyway, that has been my video. If you want to see more transition videos, go ahead and click on my channel. There'll be more Sony Vegas Pro tutorials, 